Good morning, welcome to another day of Vlogmas. So, I have a busy, kind of busy day today. I slept in, which was the goal. Um, I am about to make myself a quick little breakfast, some soriso, um, little mini quesadillas. Sounds good, I might add a little bit of egg. Um, and then I'm going to edit today's vlog, finish decorating for Christmas, and then get ready because Miguel and I are going to go see musical later. So that's something to look forward to. Going to get dinner probably at CPK um, because at the Dolby Theater, there's not that many options nearby to eat like there is at the Pantages. So, you know, I love CPK, but <clears throat> we'll see what ends up happening. Hello, there's a ghost. I've decided there's a ghost. I finally learned how to quickly brighten and darken like the areas that I'm in in my home with the camera so it's become like so exciting that I finally know how this works but anyways gonna cook breakfast now bit of truffle because I think I'm allergic to black truffle <coughs> my feet swell up <coughs> I'm dying I don't know if it's an excessive amount of salt um, but it always happens so but I still wanted some so I put like the tiniest amount I'm gonna have it with the rest of my chai and get to editing This is how the Saturday is going. It's going to be a lazy, lazy day. Huh, Chili? We woke up early and took her to the D-O-G-P-A-R-K. She was being snippy with the dogs again today, so we left early. <laughs> Look at her ears. She's like, no, I wasn't. Don't lie to the peeps. And Brisa and myself and I are just laying here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Chili. And Chili, of course. Did you hear her? Yeah, she went... Um, I was gonna clean more, but Brisa promised me she's gonna clean what I was gonna clean, so I'm relaxing more. I am gonna pick up for like 30 minutes before I have to get ready, but she wants me to shut up now, so there's that. I'm so tired. It's truly really been one of those weeks where I just, I wish I could rest all day today, but I can't. Because, you know, gotta do things. My sister and I ordered Melvita. She got a smoothie and I got a orange carrot juice because they're my favorite and I don't have them often. So, got that. Um, today's vlog is uploading and I need to make a thumbnail before I go upstairs and take a shower and start getting ready for um for the play we're gonna go to dinner i think i already said all this but um yeah i'm obviously very low energy right now i'm hoping to what was i doing create a thumbnail i'm hoping that my shower wakes me up and gets me going because lord knows i need it this vlog is so funny it's when um brisa my mom and i uh tried to build a gingerbread house and it didn't work so it's pretty entertaining i think i i was gonna say i think i'm gonna make myself a coffee but i just remember i ordered myself the juice so I'm not gonna do that <sighs> okay I'm just gonna make this thumbnail and go get ready and then I have a couple outfit ideas I have one main outfit idea and I really hope it works because if not I don't know what I'm wearing because it's so cold out and I like need to buy more like um like turtleneck bodysuits or just long sleeve bodysuits to wear with like dress pants because it's getting cold and um I'm very limited on the dresses that I can wear right now, so 
I need to add that to like a to-do list of things I need to get done. Right, out of the shower I got my juice this is the dress that I'm planning on wearing I bought it once and haven't worn it since but it since it's cold I was thinking of wearing this turtleneck underneath it so let's see how it might look I think it's cute I think it's gonna work so I'm gonna wear this with some red lipstick some cute booties sounds like a plan to me so like two seconds ago when I wasn't recording I dropped the camera and then after it wasn't focusing I was like oh there's two of me I was like oh great I broke it great but it, we are alive and we are well um I have 30 minutes to get ready and I feel like I'm dilly dallying um I wanted to share my skincare routine because my skin besides my like I'm so dry. Besides my breakouts from using the Huda Beauty um, setting spray that I'm probably going to use again today. Um, my skin has been doing so good. And so, wanted to share. I start off with the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Brightening Toner. Why does it... I think there's a ghost in here but it's this one and then while it's still a little wet I'm gonna go in with the niacinamide dew drops why did that squeeze like it was running out already it's not a good sign but I feel like it's really just adding to the glow of my skin and I get my neck and like my chest area. Something that wasn't taught to me when I was younger and like I wish it was because I feel like I can have such a young face but my neck is such a dead giveaway. And then if you follow me on Instagram you know I've been using the Paula's Choice C15 Vitamin C Booster. I broke the little dropper. So I've just been pouring it in my hand. I think I'm almost out of this too because I've been using it day and night religiously. I think I only don't use it if I think it's going to clash with like my retinol, etc. But it's really been helping brighten the skin and keep scars away. I definitely started picking at my face again the other day because I was nervous or stressed and I didn't realize I was doing anything until after it was too late <laughs> and then I finished off with the um, first aid beauty ultra repair cream and it is so good for the winter I love it and it keeps my skin hydrated so that it doesn't get excessively oily Ooh, my neck cracked that felt so good and then I just make sure that everything is really well settled into the skin before I um, go in with like primer and do my makeup and all that just so that my skin has a chance to really absorb it oh I forgot the Murad renewing eye cream is the eye cream that I'm currently trying out and I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it also. And I rarely hate Murad products. Like, they get the job done. It's just whether I, like, absolutely love it. You know, that's in question. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to change really quick just because it's a turtleneck before I go in and do my makeup and all of that. You know when you're getting ready and everyone is calling you all at once, all at the same time? Yeah. That was right now. It's stressful. Anyways, I'm going to go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I don't think I could ever go back to any other primer except the e.l.f. Jelly Watermelon Jelly Pop one because it's very similar. 
Sometimes I feel like that one's more tacky than this one. And then I'm gonna put the Hollywood Flawless Filter all over my face. Um, I definitely need to buy the full size one because I really like this. And just push it into the skin. I think one of the hardest choices that I make in a day is what foundation I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna go in with the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation in the shade 115 Light Medium. This is my like, I'm self tan shade and I haven't self tanned in a while, but the good thing is um, that I have a turtleneck, so you won't be able to tell that much. I didn't wet my beauty blender first, but I'm not mad about, about it. This beauty blender that I got my beauty, my beauty oh my god i can't talk this beauty blender <laughs> that i beauty sponge that i got in my boxy charm is really good it doesn't absorb a lot of product even when dry which is i think so good because why do i want to waste product for my concealer i'm going to go in with old faithful this is the nars creamy radiant in affogato um i'm almost out i have a brand new one down there and i get the little one because honestly a little goes a long way with this so it lasts so long that you don't even like need a big one and especially for me that I like switch concealers so often there's like no point in um, getting the full-size one <sighs> I am going to set the face all over with the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in 190. Such a great powder foundation. If you haven't tried it, you definitely should. Um, because it is so good. And to kind of like re-brighten the under eye, I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Setting Powder and set this area okay so for my brows i'm going to go in with the um, benefit brow micro filling pen as well as the benefit precisely my brow um i got my brows laminated about almost a month ago now and i was kind of sad because they didn't last as long as they normally do um they were so beautiful and they did but like I feel like they fell out so quickly and that never happens when Renee does them but I'm like I don't know if I did something different if like a skincare product I use like messed up the bonding I don't know but I was really sad because I feel like I didn't get to enjoy it <laughs> see I the only thing I hate about cleaning is right now I don't know where my normal brow gel that I use is at. So we're going to go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 6. The only thing about this one is it gets super messy. I'm trying to see if it'll... Like it gets super messy and I hate... Like it can mess up your brows. Nobody wants messed up brows. Like the whole point of doing them is so that they look pretty. You know what I mean? So, that's the only annoying thing, which is why I like my Refi one, because it's clear. So, it's very hard to mess up your brows. Also, the Gimme Brow doesn't really, like, hold the brow up that much. It just kind of coats them with, a, like, a tint. <sighs> For bronzer, I'm going to go with this Viseart um, Bronze Noix. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I got my Boxy Charm. And I've been loving it since I got it. It's like the only bronzer that I've been using on my skin. And I really, really enjoy it. Oh my gosh, if you all don't watch my Instagram reels, then you don't know how much I love this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It is literally the prettiest, most natural highlight for like now that highlight really isn't in it's just the most natural glow just makes the skin look healthy 
and I'm living for that. In case y'all haven't noticed, I'm like stressing a little bit. Um, I'm going to take this shade right here and pop that on the lid. Oh, that's so pretty. Just to blend a little bit more, I'm going to take the bronzer shade again and run it through here. And visit at the Dolby Theater. Take some setting spray for put my mascara on. Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay, I like that a lot. Um, you put mascara on. This Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara that I also got in my BoxyCharm is so good. The only problem is the brush is like a little messy. Cute. And I'm going to finish off with a red lip. I'm going to try out this pretty one from YSL that Instagram and Sephora sent over. That's cute. It's like glossy. Where are these cute ones? The other ones are in my mom's room. I thought Brisa had lost it. These are my favorite, but I found it in my mom's room. I'm gonna finish off with the Flower Bomb perfume. We are gonna eat, so I'm gonna take this lipstick with me. Um, I'm gonna put on my booties and be on my way. That's the end of this vlog for today because I'm honestly sure that this took up most of my camera space. I probably will um, try out one of the coffees later at night. But for now, toodaloo. <laughs>